A Missouri lawmaker wants to recruit more law enforcement officers to the state by eliminating state income taxes for officers. Our Missouri Capitol Bureau Chief Emily Manley explains how much this could cost the state. Currently, there are 14,000 law enforcement officers here in the state of Missouri, and a St. Louis lawmaker proposed some legislation for this upcoming session that would exclude those officers from paying state income taxes up to $100,000. But that recruitment tool could cost the state more than $30 million. One of the most important things ever in the state of Missouri is to have safe streets, safe places to live with good, safe police officers, and that's what this bill accomplishes. Republican Representative David Gregory wants to bring some relief to law enforcement officers in the state. Basically, police officers in the state of Missouri will not pay state income tax. They will still pay federal, but they won't pay state income tax. Gregory says he filed the bill in hopes of helping recruitment. We have got to do everything we can to ensure that we have the best police officers with the most training and the most focus while they're policing our streets. How do we do that? We incentivize the best police officers to stay in Missouri and we attract better police officers to the state of Missouri. But this comes at a cost to the state. What I do think uh, will the only obstacle really will be the fiscal note. Where do we cut if we're going to spend 35 million or more on police uh, income taxes? income tax cuts, where do we get that money from? Executive Director of the St. Louis County Police Association said in a statement, recruitment efforts with law enforcement in the state are becoming more difficult. Representative Gregory's bill to eliminate state income tax for law enforcement officers incentivizes new recruitments to join the force. I do believe it's very feasible for police officers. Again, our safety and being living somewhere safe should be a number one priority as a government service in the state of Missouri. Gregory says he believes this is a bipartisan issue as other lawmakers plan to discuss reform. Why not roll this in and say, hey, let's all work together to recruit the best officers to go through the reform that everyone wants to see. Now, if this passes, it would be a progressive deduction over four years, starting in 2022, which means by 2025, all law enforcement officers would be eliminated from paying state income taxes up to $100,000. Session starts in January. Reporting for our Missouri Capitol Bureau, I'm Emily Manley.